What's going on Reef Builders? I'm Jake Adams and welcome back to another video from the Reef Builder Studio. I have a lot of hotness I wanna share with you today. I've had a lot of time to uh, fix up and polish up all the reef tanks and they are looking really, really uh, something else. So I wanna just show off some of the corals that are doing really well in the studio right now. And then we're gonna unbox a few corals that I just got and I haven't even seen yet. So this is the uh, six foot water box tank. It's a, a peninsula layout aquarium and I've been working to really just kind of get the corals where I want them and uh, have a lot of frags that have been growing out for a while that are uh, you know starting to encrust where I glued them and I'm really excited to see how this tank will grow out. Um, some familiar ones might be this uh, Pinky the Bear right here. And we have some uh, Hawkins Echinata, which is an Acropora turaki, a really recognizable species when you see it out in the wild. Over here is mostly uh, Seriatopora and Stylos. I really wanna collect a bunch of those. If any of you guys saw my story on the uh, Blue Zing Aquarium Hybrid Seriatopora, that's a very exciting piece. This is the Star Man that I featured in a video not too long ago. And um, up here is a little bit more of my highlight corals. A lot of these um, I got from Worldwide Corals. So this is the, uh, the uh, yellow tip stag. And uh, I hate its growth form, so I'm probably gonna hack it down and glue it a little denser at its base. Got a nice Salago Acra right there, really nice pink with some blue highlights. A classic Oregon Tort Acro. And then here's a few little chips that I got from my last trip to Worldwide Corals starting to encrust and take off. I don't know what the names, but this is probably one of my favorites right here with this nice, gentle, delicate pink coloration. This is a uh, Joe Dirt that I've had for a long time. And then this is a really old classic strain called, um, I call it the Toxic Florida because it's an Acropora Florida that is slimier and more green than a actually Bali green slimer. Got my uh, obligatory little cluster of different fancy torch corals. And you'll notice in this white light, you know, they don't really stand out that much. Here's some bizarro cyphastria. I mean, this thing's polyps open up so much. It really looks at like a, uh, like a flower pot coral at first glance. Here's my Walt Disney. I need to, uh, cut off a bunch of tips to kind of activate the uh, axial corallite formation. But I like it, it looks really good. And then I'm basically using this orange cap as a shelf to put other corals onto. This is a blue tip slimer. And then behind it is my hardline hokey, a hoaxamai, acropora hoaxamai collected in the Great Barrier Reef with uh, uh, Nick DeSantos and Vincent Chalius. There's the Immortal Tort that I featured in a previous video. And then this coral is one that really surprised me. You see these pictures of corals online and you can't really gauge you know, how they're gonna perform or look in real life. Um, but this is the Worldwide Coral's pink tickler, a French tickler. Um, man, this thing looks so cool under white light and under blue light and it just really, really pops. So you can see this tank is coming along real well. I still got some room for some more corals. This is not really a, uh, a tank tour video per se. I'm gonna give you a real tour of this tank another time. I just kind of show off how well some of the corals are doing here at the studio. So here's one of the coral flats. Um, this one has We've got four Radions, three Gen 3s and one Gen 5 Blue, um, and lots and lots of real nice Acroporas. Um, so it is a little bit bluer in this tank. We've got my Digitatas back there. And um, this is a whole new, all of the corals on this rack, I got probably within the last month or two. So we're gonna let them blossom a little bit more and then give them a nice show off. So this is kind of uh, the intermediate light coral flat. And then this is my highlight coral flat. Let me go ahead and 
pause one of the pumps here so we can take a better look. And um, this tank is just really filled with blue and pink and green corals. It's actually a little bit, little bit whiter uh, light than the camera is showing right now. But uh, man, the corals in here are doing really, really well and I'm just uh, doing everything I can to keep up with the mineral demands and uh, the traces and keep the pH really nice and high um, to make those corals grow as fast as possible. But like I said, this is not a coral show off video. This is actually a coral unboxing video, um, but I didn't get that many corals. So I needed to uh, pad the video with a little bit more to show off and uh, kind of, I guess, show you where uh, a lot of these new corals are gonna go. So we've got a brand new box of coral from Cali Kid and uh, can't wait to open it up. So if you're a hardcore reefer like me, you know, kind of a traveling reefer, I did not realize how much of my coral shopping and just general feeling out of what's available on the market was supported by traveling to all these reef shows when it's been pretty much almost exactly a year since we had reef stock in 2020 and there's been virtually no reef stock reef shows i know there's been like you know kind of a, sm a few small gatherings but it's just it's nothing compared to you know a full-blown reef stock with thousands of people or reef blueza with hundreds of vendors um, although Reef Palooza is supposed to be happening in Orlando in May, social distancing style. So I'm gonna, really curious to see what that's gonna be like. And it's gonna be, oh my God, <laughs> it's gonna be so nice and so refreshing to see all my old friends again, but especially to see all the corals that people have been growing. Um, but to kind of fill the gap, I've been doing so much window shopping. So that, that, uh, that rack of frags that I showed off earlier, um, I've been getting corals from Battle Corals, from ORA, uh, from my buddy Andrew Gosh, uh, Omaha Aquaculture. Um, I'm sure there's a few more in there. I got a few frags in there from AC Aquaculture and I'm expecting more frags tomorrow. But this is the main event for this video. These are actually LPS corals, some really fancy ones. And um, I think that's enough warm up now. Let's crack open the box and uh, see these corals with our own eyes for the first time. All right, are we in frame? Are we in focus? Okay, let's open this up. This is a smaller box, but there's one coral in here in particular that I've been wanting to get again for like 15 years. And this is a, um, well, I'm not gonna ruin the surprise. Let's, uh, let's just see what Cali Kid sent us. And what's funny is like when I'm at the reef shows, I, <laughs> I rarely like really pay attention to who I'm buying from because there's so many different vendors. But now that I'm buying online, um, really get to know these companies um, a little bit better and definitely a lot differently. So move that out of the way. All righty. So big thanks to Cali Kid. For, um, for, for having some fair prices, you know, I'm not gonna spend my entire budget on just a few corals. So it's nice when you can find, you know, corals at a price that uh, you can be, feel happy about. So, got a nice big box. Oh, got the obligatory coral t-shirt here. Oh, that's interesting. Very interesting. Not the shirt, <laughs> not the shirt, but it looks like the, uh, um, the coral's been packaged in uh, like, uh, plastic containers. I actually never seen that. So that's pretty cool. And they're already labeled. <laughs> oh, wow. So I did not expect this at all. We've got a double scully. Let's get this. We'll get this opened up a uh, bounce Yuma. I've seen those around before, but never had one. Holy crap. I thought I was only getting three corals. We've got a uh, Cinerina. Man, I'm very glad. <laughs> I'm excited about these jars because I'm going to be reusing them. And we've got Insane Cinerina, there we go. And what else do we have? The Cupping Liquid Chalice. I have no idea what that is. And then this is the coral, this is the coral that really got my attention. So it's labeled as a fungia, but it's um it's actually a cyclosair. So, wow, that's a nice super insulated box. I'm gonna be recycling and reusing this one uh, to ship out some frags to some friends, because you know what? Without reef shows, I've actually been uh, organizing a lot of coral trades, actually swapping corals, and I almost always get more um, than I can expect. So I'm gonna bring it in a little bit tighter and uh, so we can get a much better look 
at the corals that we received. All right, let's let's do that. We're gonna blow it up just a little bit. Start up the exposure. All right, I think that's probably gonna be the best look here. We've got a bounce Yuma. All right, let's see if this will be a little bit better angle. So here we have a bounce Yuma. That's gonna look pretty silly until I get it into the water. This is the double scoli. That's gonna look really great um, in my Scalimia party aquarium. Oh my goodness, this thing is fun looking. Look at all that. Look at all that meat. Wonder if it's a UFO style also. Look at that. <laughs> two, two nice big polyps right next to each other. Oh man. Thanks very much to Cali Kid for sending. I don't even see that on their uh, on their website. So that's the double scully. Very cool. We've got a Cinerina here. I think I'm gonna have to. Man, these are really expertly packed. There's almost no way for them to break. Uh, take that off. Take that off. So these Cinerinos, again, they're gonna look a little goofy until they puff up and open up. So this is kind of like a green striped orange Cinerina. We're gonna get better, uh, better color of these guys once they're all um, opened up. We've got the, uh, <clears throat> the insane Cinerina. Let's see, ooh, you can already see that gold in there. Very interesting color more. So it's like a kind of a, like a mustardy yellow green Cinerina. There we go. Oh man, this is this is really gonna shine. I got some perfect places to put these corals. And oh wow, look at that meatiness. So if you're familiar with Cinerinas, they're usually brown with a little bit of green bubbles uh, or like a kind of a pinky red. This one's a mustard yellow with a reddish mouth. Very cool. And then let's see, let's see what this uh, cupping chalice, oh wow. <laughs> that is some fire right there, man, holy moly. I haven't even been shopping for chalice corals because I don't know, I'm just a little bit more of a stick man right now. So this is the cupping chalice. I wonder if that just refers to uh, the shape of the coral itself. And then the main event, the coral that got me really hot and bothered. This thing should glow closed up or opened up. So let's see how opened up it is. Wow. Hoo, 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 hoo. A little bit bigger than I expected, but look at that, man. That is gonna have some insane streaks through it. Very happy with that coral. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get these corals dipped, get them out, and then we'll take a closer look at them um, once they're in the tank. All right, you guys, it's been a few hours since I put out uh, my fresh batch of corals from Cali Kid Corals. So let's take a look at them and see how they are uh, doing. I know it's gonna be, you know, it's gonna be um, a few days and maybe even weeks until these uh, Cinerinas really open up to their full potential. But let's, uh, let's give it a closer look at what we got. So one of the first surprises was this cupping chalice. And so I found out that this is a chalice that tends to uh, kind of grow upwards and you can see that. So instead of just growing outwards and usually downwards, it really kind of forms that classic chalice shape. And um, from, the, from the coral, you can tell it's a really nice green base with some pink accents. So that's the uh, cupping chalice excited to see that one grow out. So this is a bounce Yuma, a uh, Recordia Yuma with some really, really inflated uh, tentacles that, uh, man, I remember these going for crazy money at this one show. You know, value of the coral is just, it's what you make of it, but uh, this will be a really fun Recordia to grow out. Add this guy to the collection. Um, these two Cinerina is really interesting. So we have this one right here which is kind of a mauve color, but a really bright green mouth and a lot of green stuff going on in between. Um, it's kind of uh, also got a nice little red mouth, but it's gonna take a while again. It'll take, I don't know, a solid week for this thing to um, open up to its full potential in a tank with, uh, you know, kind of relaxed lighting and moderate water flow. This is gonna be a real keeper, but Cinerinas, they, you know, they just don't look really good closed. Um, this one, this one has a color that's really hard 
hard to describe because it's kind of a mustardy green yellow with um, a pinkish, I guess a pinkish reddish mouth in the center. So that's gonna be a nice contrast to the pink and internally green Cinerinas that I have already. But I'm um, gonna be able to uh, have enough Cinerinas to maybe try a little bit of a spawning run here in the future. Very cool. Now this was a nice surprise. I'm guessing that Cali Kid is a follower of the channel because uh, I've got this really nice Scalemia Party Aquarium and UFOs are one of my favorites. So getting this nice large one, which is a Siamese polyp, man, look at that. I don't even care, it doesn't have any extra colors because you know I look at my corals from a distance and from far away, you can see that that is just gonna be a showstopper coral. And then, uh, you know, what really precipitated the purchase was this one right here, man. I had a splash cycloceris, a green splash orange cycloceris when I was in college, like 18, between 18 and 15 years ago. I had it for a long time and um, I've just never picked another one up because they were so pricey because people started, people started collecting every group of coral and I have no doubt, man, when I get this guy um, on the bottom of the Scalemia Party Aquarium, he's just gonna look like, just gonna really be a show-stopping coral. So very, very fun group of corals from uh, Cali Kid. You know, I've been, I've been window shopping like crazy to try to make up for not being able to go to reef shows. And I've got corals coming almost every single day. It seems like at least a couple times a week, couple orders. Um, but these are gonna be really nice to add to the selection of corals here at the Reef Builder Studio. Um, you know, for almost every video that I do, I'm always trying to like, teach something, you know, like the last video was a DIY about the clover nozzle that I know you can watch that video and just go look at your tank and go whip together a little DIY clover nozzle for yourself. But in this video, just kind of showing off some of the collections and some of the new corals that I'm getting. We are imminently gonna do a full on studio tour, showing off all the tanks, all the plants, all the systems, all the gear. It's gonna be really fun. So um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions about the corals that I got, or maybe some of the few things that I've shown you so far, um, go ahead and put those questions down in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe and catch you guys on the next video. Later guys.